at the time when I got the cancer diagnosis, because so much was happening with my body in terms of things going wrong, I remember in my head going, things can't get worse than this. Hi, I'm Anusha Hussain, and I want to share my story for International Women's Day. I really didn't have any more capacity to cope with any more bad news. I was born missing my right arm below the elbow, and while I don't see that as being disabling, it is obviously something which forces me to do something slightly differently. And I've got Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is a connective tissue disorder, which means my connective tissue is looser and stretchier, so my joints can pop out of place. Um, it also causes lots of fatigue because your muscles are having to work twice as hard to hold things in place. I tried climbing on a school trip when I was eight, loved it. And then after my cancer diagnosis, I was not body confident at all. I was like, oh my God, a harness is gonna highlight all the bits on me that I don't like highlighting. I'm not gonna be able to climb, I'm not strong enough. I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna look really silly. And one of my best friends turned to me and sort of went, well, what's the worst that can happen? The worst thing is you don't like it. The best thing is you find something that changes your life. And I went and the first session was awful. But there was a point on those climbs where it brought me back to that trip when I was an eight year old of just that satisfaction of getting a move done, that mental release from, I'm no longer disabled, I'm not ill, I'm not, some, I'm not a cancer person, I'm just me on a wall and it's beautiful. The advice I'd give to myself at the time of diagnosis would be, it will get better. Uh, it might feel really awful right now, but it will get better. Um, and you will find a way around it. Uh, and I think I'd still give the same advice to everybody else. You will find a way around it. Don't let what society or culture think of you limit your life or your potential. Let me know in the comments what advice you'd give to someone going through a tough time and happy International Women's Day.